Well, it's the next day, and it was an absolute pain in the, in the hiney, um, but it's working now. I did have to use some flux um, to solder on, but you can see what ended up happening here. Let me move my hand out of the way. Um, I bodge wired <laughs> right onto there, and I've hot glued this little uh, CR2032 container that I thought looked prettier than just having the battery exposed. It has a little screw top on it. It's I think it's for like kids' toys or something, but a bunch of them on Amazon. And I was like, well, holds a battery. It's good enough for me. Um, so I've got that guy wired in there, and then here... I've installed a SCSI to SD with a 512 gig SD card. So, point of note, some people are talking about having issues with this working. And right now you can see this machine is actually running uh, some install of NicoWare from back in the day. And I haven't got any new downloads from the repository if it even exists anymore, but I have a local copy of it. Um, so we are uh, running that install now. Um, and... You can see the SCSI to SD every now and then firing as it's doing, you know, compute and figuring out where to put everything. But when you configure the SCSI to SD, you want to set it for um, uh, SCSI 2 because you'll get more speed that way. Um, on this host, it actually supports SCSI 2 from what I can tell. Uh, at least that made it work. And then you want to disable the Terminator because you have a Terminator cable. Notice the giant head on the end here. If you're using the original SGI cable, it's a Terminator cable. Notice um, I'm also plugging in the lower end because this upper part was supposed to be for a floptical drive, um, which I have on the shelf. I just don't have an extra caddy uh, that I want to sacrifice to running a pointless super, super floptical drive. Uh, I think the installer just crashed. Maybe. Not really sure what happened there. Um, cool. Either way. I'll just play with it. I was telling you to install all of the NecoWare, which is probably not going to work, but uh, as you can tell, the hard drive works just fine. Um, everything's happy now. Uh, so SCSI to SD, real-time clock replacement, uh, absolute pain, uh, but definitely worth it to have this thing not force me to reset the um, Ethernet address each time. Anyhow, that's it.